I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. He then anointed them with the anointment. Okay. Anointment. <laughs> or the ointment. Hmm. <laughs> now when the Pharisees, which had bidden him, saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, uh -huh. would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touches him. Uh -huh. He is a sinner. She is a sinner. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have someone to say unto thee. And he said, Master, say on. Okay. <laughs> There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Okay. Tell me, therefore, which of them would love him most? Okay. Simon answered and said, Well, I suppose the one that he, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said it to him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, See this woman, I entered into thy house, thou gavest me no water for my feet. <laughs> she has washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. Woo! Thou givest me no kiss, gavest me no kiss. Woo! This woman, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. <laughs> <clears throat> my head with oil thou didst not anoint. Uh -huh. This woman has anointed my feet with ointment. Uh -huh. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, yeah. are forgiven. Uh -huh. For she loved much. Uh -huh. But to whom little is given, the same loveth little. Yes, sir. For whom is little is forgiven. Uh -huh. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. Uh -huh. And he said unto her, Thine sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sin also? And he said to the woman, Thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. Now, Elder, in that whole pack package, what we saw was, him forgiving that woman. Some people, Elder, in the modern day time would say that he just, he said that her, her behavior was okay. He didn't say her, her behavior was okay. No, he didn't. He didn't he say just, that at all. He just said, uh, your, no, faith, your sins are forgiven. Yeah. And I think we get mixed up on when we say we forgive somebody or we don't condemn somebody that's outside the body of Christ particularly we're, we're some people think that it's saying we're we're at, we're kind of endorsing the behavior you're not endorsing the behavior you just saying is I'm not going to say I'm you know what he told you you're supposed to forgive right yeah that's what that's you're, supposed, you, you're supposed to forgive you're I, not endorsing a behavior I, I think the more we look at this this uh this this, this passage this uh, belief system okay. uh, detached from European, you know, uh, society. Yeah. And I think maybe more in line with the way they were taught, it's more internal than it is. And even the scriptures indicate that the kingdom of God come not by observation, but it's revealed from within. Yes, sir. It's not us passing judgment on the world system. Or causing the world to conform to what we perceive to be the kingdom of God. Right. But it's for us to conform to the image of God we, ourselves that's the and point. to apply that those teachings to the transformation of us as that's an individual. That's so that when a person observes you, that's, they should see a citizen of the kingdom and not someone trying to make them one. <laughs> you see I think first you have to give them a visualization yeah, a good teaching uh, tool.
tool is a is is is, is, is something visual. You can have you give them a, they call it a visual aid. Yes, sir. If you can show them an example yourself, if you can be that example yourself yes, of Christ, you then yes. they have a more they have a better idea of what you're talking about when you start talking about loving people and giving people and and healing people and delivering people and all these things. But that has not been the way that it has been taught. And unfortunately, that misinformation uh, or that bad training is, is, is prevalent even in our Christian community now. Exactly, Elder. So yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. It, 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 it really is. And, and I'll say for myself, sometimes you encourage people because you don't want them to suffer. That's what you're trying to do, right? But the greater, the better way to encourage them is by being what you're trying to teach them. Come on, yeah! Did y'all read it? Yeah, that's a book. That's a T-shirt. Go ahead. That is a T-shirt. <laughs> that's a T-shirt. You, yeah, there was, there was a, <laughs> you know, it's, let me remember. That. I need, that. I need, that. I need some income. Let me know. How to <laughs> so I need, okay, I can remember that. How do I can look at the tape? No, I'm we'll look at the, you can look at the video but, later and do it. But, but that's, that's what Jesus did. I mean, I, the greatest te- master that we've ever had, the greatest teacher that ever walked the planet, did exactly that. Yes, sir. Jesus was is the example of what he he encourages us to become. Exactly. We got too busy. Your cross and up, follow me. We got too busy wrapped up trying to say we're endorsing something of somebody else's behavior, opposed to us endorsing the behavior of Christ by following his example. And I, I think that's about what we're 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 uh, constrained in doing right now, because we're not given the uh, we're not given the, the, the option to judge the world. I know Paul mentioned in some places, "Know you not that you would judge angels." So any 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 talks to us concerning judging within the house within the, the, house. the, the, the house of God, you know, within the within the body of Christ. But he does not look at us and tell us to. He does not. Encourage us to judge the world system. He tells us he doesn't even judge the world system yet. There's a time of judgment coming. Yeah, we have to put that in the next video. I, I, I personally like, like I I guess we talked about sports earlier today, and I, and when I initially came into Christianity, it, I approached it like it was a a game, like a a sporting game. Yeah, and and I I perceived the same with the ultimate. You know, the ultimate that was the adversary, and he was the best team that was out there. He was the opposing force. And I looked at Christianity as, as being, you know, things that we did in order to strengthen ourselves against his onslaught or to defeat him or undo his works. And the one thing that I, I failed to uh, embrace was that he separated us from our father and that Jesus came to undo his works and that was to reunite ourselves with our father yeah and when we really look at who our father is our father is love right you see god is love right we are we are sons and the daughters of love yes sir and if we are actually dwelling in him and he's dwelling in us then the love of god is going to be evident in us it's going to yeah, be evident I, right in the things that we when we, what we say we do the way we interact with everybody else right and you're supposed to be light Exactly. We're supposed, and that is the love of God. That light is the love of God. And it's, it's, it, 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 it's life giving. Uh, uh, it, it is virtue. It is it's all those things that are, that, that are moral. That are, and that's why people and, think, that's why Sarah said that people have been turned off by the church. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I agree. The church I agree 100% on that. And, and the way we were taught. A lot of it had to do the way we were taught. And it was, it was like you look at a team and say, okay, man, you, you need to, you know, you you need to practice on your on your on your dribble a little bit. You know, you need practice because you causing us to lose. You making us you making us lose. Or somebody right. coming to you, you're like, hey, you're one leg shorter than the other day. You can't join this team. Exactly. <laughs> you, know, you can't you can't be with us because you ain't ready to fight. You know, you can't play no ball because you, you got a little short arm or something like that. Exactly. That's <laughs> and, and, and I know that that's true. And I and I think that that's the way we propagated it. Right. That, that that's not the way Christ did it. Nope. And if you read scripture and especially focus on New Testament, it becomes evident that they didn't do it that way. That's and he tells you, he what well, he takes the offscouring of the world, he takes the, the weak things to confound the wise. I mean, the 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 the, the uh, was it weak? Uh, I 
carry no, he said he take the weak things and confound them, the world was mighty. The simple things in this world, he takes the wisdom of this world is confounded by it. I can't remember how the scripture really goes right now. I can go. I can I can I can look it up. But 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 I think I think you're definitely clicking on what I'm trying to say, Ben saying. Oh, yeah. We, oh, it's, 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 we, it's an eternal fix. We, 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 the, the emphasis, I embrace that. I really embrace that. But I really, my conversation, uh, my conversation most of the time is just toward the house of God when we're sitting in body, you know? Yeah. But uh, when we're ministering to the world system, when we're out, you know, actually evangelizing and going to the world, you realize that those people are babies. And the, the other thing of it is, is like guys that come together like us and just, Put 900 hours a week in it. Yeah. Those people are not going to do that. And I remember the Spirit of God told me once, he said, You don't have to be a preacher to go to heaven. <laughs> God said, It's like I'm trying to turn everybody to a preacher. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will never take the level of interest that we have in studying scripture or following Christ, but they will come to know who Christ is and call upon him, and they will be saved. Our job is to help them get connected. Yeah. And and that's that's about it. I mean, uh, you know, love them, help them get connected to Christ, and, and that's about it. I mean, that, as far as judging true. people are concerned, we turn know. them off. Call they see us yeah, If I see somebody caught up in a fault, and I think he's talking in the house again, he said, if you, you, you see a brother caught up in a fault, then he restores such a one in the spirit of meekness. Should restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. We don't they then don't fall into the same condemnation. Right. So. Our approach to the world system. Now, this is something I, I will make a point of, though. Because we approach the world like that, we should not necessarily expect that the world is going to receive us well. Uh -huh. And you're going to get cursed out sometime. When you're showing the grace of my love, some people are going to come get you, you know? Well, well that's what I'm saying. I think that's the whole point is, like, I, I, I was confronted one time. I was in a, a cafeteria with one of my friends, and um, he had some of his friends with him. And this guy was talking about the... Uh, uh, sleep with another woman, and uh, it's it's and the military is even illegal, and and I was I was kind of skewing that, dressing that, and the guy cursed, blah, 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 blah. you know he cursed me out, right? He cursed me out, and I said, look, dude, I'm just telling you, you can go to jail for that. I'm gonna tell you that your wife probably don't appreciate that, so you telling me that I you know work you know, my own business. You made your statement, your you made your statement or your conquest to go and commit adultery to me. Now, if you wanted to keep that to yourself, then that's where it would have stayed with. But you don't tell me about a behavior that A, is illegal in the, in the military, B, is uh, against God's laws and will, being that you say you were a Christian, I'm not going to endorse that for you. I'm not seeing you commit a daughter. I hear you brag about it and you want to boast about it. And I'm sitting there saying, man, look, we, we don't, you, you're going to cause more problems, which it has. I've seen people who uh, we actually had to uh, put them out of the military <laughs> who commit adultery, right? Uh, but the person cursed you out because you were not, you know, endorsing the behavior. Yeah. Yep. But the point is that because you made it, you made it my business by telling me, right? Yep. So I should give you, I should at least give you a reply back to it uh, because you brought it up. And if you ain't like what I had to say, then you don't, then you just say, appreciate your opinion. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm doing. And I also then say, well, you do what you need to do. But I'm just telling you is that there's consequences. And that's really what I was trying to say to him. There's yep. consequences of that behavior. Here's a scripture that you were looking for, I believe. Let me show that. It's uh, 27, 1 Corinthians 1, 27. Yes, that's what I was looking for. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Yes, yes sir. that's exactly what I was looking for. Exactly. And it, and it talks about the, you know, the kind of men that were chosen at one point. Yeah. Uh, not many of them were really wise or you know, rich or so forth and so on, but he, he chose simple men to, to uh, propagate this gospel of the kingdom truth. Yeah, matter of fact, read 22 all the way down to the last so that people can do it. Where's that now? First, first, first one, 22, yeah. 
Just for the people yeah. though. Those for the that- Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. For we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. But it is them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, but for you see your calling, brethren. How there we are, that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised. Has God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. Yes, sir. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Come on, brother. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God has made unto us wisdom and righteousness, sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. 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 And it levels the playing field, don't it? It does, brother. It levels does. the playing field. Right. And we just got to understand, is Christ a change? I think, like I said, and I love that what you were saying earlier, too, is the fact is you really winning people over by your behavior, yeah. not their behavior. Well, and, huh? we, we must manifest the new creation itself. We really do. We have to, because we're really talking to people that don't know what we're talking about. Exactly. And they never observed it. Uh, I'm getting secular on this, but Earth, Wind, and Fire said, you want my love, but you can't deny it. You know it's true, but you're trying to kind of hide it. You, yeah. you turn down love like it's really bad, but you can't give what you never had. Come on, brother. That's fine. <laughs> and yeah. if you don't have the love of God and you, you've never seen the love of God, you don't even understand it when, when it's initially manifested before you. Mm-hmm. And, and you really do have to get used to the presentation, but that's our job. Our job is to manifest the love of God before fallen world. That's the point, Elder. That's the point. You're not going to see. We think that we act like like a, a parent trying to raise a child, yeah. and therefore we we go. You know, remember, to, remember when they used to discipline? Some used to say, "This is going to hurt me more than hurt you." And the child's like, "I, I don't think that's." <laughs> <true."> <laughs> well, some reason somehow that's translated to how we try to discipline the world, and and. Um, that's not that's not your calling. It, I, I think that I tried, there is a um and, and, and we got remember we we're a part of the world system at some point. But we came out of it. Yeah. And what we what what we, we we're trying to do is actually draw people out of that system into the kingdom of God. That's that's our, our, our ultimate goal. Right. Because all the world systems are gonna be done away with anyway. Right. So that's we're cool. trying to bring them into the kingdom of God and, and we know that's a that is the thing, uh, Pastor Taylor, that when we talk about mobilizing the, the, the household of God, right? that is the, uh, that is the directive, that, that is the, uh, the intent, you know, the, the mission is to mobilize and to bring people into the kingdom. The method has been to show the love of God. Exactly. And those things that we're not really well schooled on. And as a nation, we were definitely not raised to uh, do that, so my thought with the United States of America, and in, in, in my my mind, I'm encouraged because so I believe that the United States of America has known God on a cardinal level. Because they have like a person that joined the church and learned all the scriptures in the Bible, right? Will never be born again or haven't been born again yet. I think we got the conversation going. I think we had a language down to an art, but now we got to meet the man uh-huh. as a nation. Not as it says, a nation. I, I'm going to say as a as a as a body of believer, the body, of the church in America, the church in America has to begin to portray before in, in, into the American society. God, we yeah. have to portray what it looks like to be yeah. a citizen of the kingdom. We have to we have to among ourselves portray that. So we got to reach across racial lines. We got to reach across the the <clears throat> the, the ethnic and the, and the and the cultural lines. Toward each other, we yeah. got to come out of our little kingdoms that we created, and, and 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 unite the kingdom of Christ. Right. And that has been happening, and and God has given us this COVID virus, and this situation that we're in right now to facilitate that. Come on, bro. 
we are mingling now with people we never mingled with before. We are, we are out in the communities and making noise. As a matter of fact, we'll be back out this afternoon at 4 o'clock if you want to join us. <laughs> and we are reaching people. I mean, the, 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 the pastor of the church that I attend, which is a very small little congregation of people, is a Hispanic guy. He's, he's Puerto Rican. Hmm. He's bilingual. He and his wife. So when they preach in the community, which at one point was predominantly black African American, which is now about a half, the mix is about half and half, they can communicate to both both sectors of the community. That's Christ united in them. Right. That's the body of Christ coming together in this display. We sit there and we talk to each other, we communicate back and forth concerning scripture. So I'm seeing how God is reaching across those boundaries to unite his body in the United States of America already. Right. And that is what we have to go forward with right now. And that, I think, is going to be the saving grace for the next for the next century. If the United States of America lasts another century, this will be the strength that's going to fuel it. Come on. Um, the church in the United States of America rising up is going to strengthen the, the, the American society. Right. And we'll be able to witness globally and, and, I, and I personally think, and this is Johnson, of course, I personally think there were no accidents made. There were no, there were no happenstances. No things didn't just, didn't just occur. I believe there was a purpose in God's heart that this should come to pass. Yes. This nation should be raised up to be a global witness to the glory of God. And I